Welcome to Bilibili in Uganda, the world's largest refugee settlement. Every day thousands of thousands of refugees enter Uganda. They arrive exhausted, dehydrated, hungry and emotionally frustrated. Upon their arrival, each homestead is offered a piece of land as part of their startup package. Lift Living in the Face of Trauma is an initiative championed by the Office of Uganda's Ambassador for Women and Girls. Since 2016, LIFT has guaranteed sustainable livelihoods of 239 refugee women who can now independently afford with their families three meals a day without food aid from the World Food Programme. With the highest population in the world, Africa is going to find it difficult to feed her own people in the next 100 years, not forgetting political instabilities and wars which have forced millions of Africans to flee their homes in search for peace. And as they clear bushes, forests, to create settlement in their host communities, they pose a serious threat to the environment and food security on the continent. So, biotech innovation involves gene splicing crops that can withstand drought and floods in hard to reach drought prone refugee communities as well as mitigating food waste. So, girls from selected universities across the world in the global girls movement will work together with the refugee women and girls in the world's largest refugee settlement, Bilibili in Uganda, to rewrite the narrative and change the future of migration by innovating and investing in food production and growth development. So this innovation will prove that migration has the ability to change the economic growth and improve food security and real livelihoods that is advancing country's progress in achieving SDG number two, which is to achieve zero hunger by 2030. As well as engage refugees in sustainable climate action initiatives to mitigate depletion of Uganda's biodiversity, thus achieving SDG number 13. People are burning them. They're destroying, they're causing global warming. So wait, I had someone from this side ask who has that time. I want you to put yourself in their shoes. You had rather stay here stuck in that tent and starve than go around looking for bottles and plant your own food and eat it. 